Hey, what's going on? It's Tool Hunting Fun. Uh, just wanted to make a video because we've been gone for a little bit. Uh, some of the new pickups that we got from OfferUp, Craigslist, uh, estate sales, garage sales, all that kind of stuff. It's been a minute, uh, so I just wanted to catch everyone up. Hope you're all doing well, and uh, yeah, let's get started. We got some Milwaukee Sawzall blades. Uh, just multi-material that way we can kind of get through anything um, tearing down some planter boxes and some other stuff uh, we got going <clears throat> as you can see we got some snap-on uh, pick set um, they're used ended up just cleaning them up uh, you can see pretty good condition for the most part from a heavy-duty uh, mechanic actually near me i do uh rentals and stuff like that so, uh yeah different heavy duty trucks so check those out i think i got those for 40 bucks or something like that um obviously yeah i know they're 80 bucks i think new uh i got them for 40 bucks you can get tons of other picks for probably 20 bucks or less <coughs> i have a set of uh husky ones but ended up on an uh, upgrade um, and just, you know, one of the first snap-on sets that I uh, have bought, to be honest. So I thought it was kind of fun, uh, bought into the hype, I'm not going to lie. But they are pretty good. So I got this Home Depot bag, uh, went there today to warranty some things, um, and then figured I'd bring other things out. First one is these Harbor Freight Icon uh, Long Reach Pistol Grip Pliers. I've uh, been seeing these obviously on YouTube and TikTok and all those fun sites. Spring works pretty well. Uh, obviously, I, I haven't tried them out yet, uh, but I'm hoping they are promising. I uh, can get into some different places. Um, and yeah, super excited for those guys. On there. We also picked up, oh, the reason I picked these up is because they had the 30% off coupon. Uh, so I believe one of these was like $14, another one was $12 or something like that with the coupon. Um, I used to work there and I might have got an extra deal off of them. Uh, but these are the slip joint pliers, eight inch pair. Um, they actually feel really good super excited to have these uh i got a set of doyles um i believe some channel lock slip joints and then another old pair uh that i found out of state sale but these should be nice to try out again just bought into the hype obviously saw people posting about them uh but put them to use next up we also warranted uh poor pittsburgh pliers uh the needle nose this uh, handle actually broke off uh holding on to something uh kind of ridiculous kind of hurt but um luckily obviously easy warranty next up went over to home depot like i said to warranty these um funny enough they were trying to tell me no they wouldn't warranty them so i'm curious have you guys ever had problems at home depot warranty any channel lock stuff uh said that i needed to reach out to the manufacturer i proved to them that the last pair was a pair of 337s uh guy was like okay we'll do it this one time um so we ended up getting them warrantied looking forward to using those guys again and then this is a set that we didn't get warrantied guy said he couldn't read the number which was somewhere right there I think you could see the one seven but basically their needle nose three one seven um but he said he can read it even though it clearly says channel lock right there um yeah uh tips were bent and some other stuff but i ended up throwing those guys in the vice and getting them for the most part straight um for whatever reason they didn't match up perfectly but uh you know better than they were was hoping just to get them warrantied and whatever, but I uh, was able to bend them back in shape. Uh, 
Next up, so went over, found these on offer up. Some snap on quarter inch drive metric set. Uh, I think it is, what is it, five to 15. Um, six point with the magnetic trays. I honestly did not realize these trays were magnetic. Uh, I've seen them on YouTube and in other people's boxes and stuff. Sorry about that, but yeah. Uh, again, just quarter inch drive, metric five to 15. No skips, comes with 5.5. Um, pretty good condition. Guy barely used them. Um, and most of these, I think were pretty new actually when we got them. So, uh, excited for that. Upgrade from the Icon uh, ones that I had previous, or actually an addition to Icon. Um, next up and i believe i got these for 130 um was able to talk the guy down from 150 i think uh so not too bad all right next up is some snap-on screwdrivers um i believe it's an eight piece set so you can start drawing them out one two number two phillips uh, you know, big 516 flathead, uh, mini flathead, uh, extra big freaking 3 ace flathead, um, 730 seconds. Flathead and the small number two Phillips, short number two Phillips. I believe I got this set for 200 bucks. Um, retails for 250 or something like that. So a little bit of a deal, but what uh, kind of put me over the edge was being able to also include these guys. Uh, they're fairly big, actually. That's kind of why I ended up getting the, the smaller ones uh these are probably like nine inches uh and then these eight inch ones should be a little bit um you know easier to fit into places looks like a ripoff of snap-on um but again for 14 or 12 dollars or something like that versus i believe these are like 60 bucks or 50 bucks or something like that um haven't used them yet still oily from probably unpackaging them uh that the guy had but yeah so 200 bucks for the eight piece screwdriver set as well as these um so yeah that was probably like 310 dollars worth of snap-on stuff again are you buying it for the name or are you buying it for the quality not sure yet we'll find out again these sockets didn't have a problem with uh working on my car um but again you know time will tell next up we found a actually another youtube channel uh midwest tool reviews i believe put me on to high bid um just an auction site basically that does tools and all sorts of stuff kind of like a estate sale online uh so i ended up picking these snap on one nine what is it? 196CF snap-on needle nose with cutters. Uh, teeth are a little worn out. I'm curious if you guys know. Is that something they'd warranty out? Or is that something just normal wear and tear? This side's not too bad. Uh, but, you know, it'd be kind of cool to get some ones that are actually gripping um unfortunately they don't really let you see too much of the tool when uh you're bidding on it just whatever photos they have so it was a little bit of gamble i think we got these for 20 something dollars um and then plus shipping so probably around 30. so uh new nose pliers from snap-on <clears throat> again i've never bought snap-on before this is my first time uh you know two weeks ago i think is when i bought this and then i bought these um and then i 
ended up finding some other stuff on offer up. Um, obviously, I've got snap-on wrenches and, you know, random one-off screwdrivers and stuff like that from uh, from estate sales or, you know, the, the market and stuff like that. Uh, but as far as, like, actually getting sets and stuff, first time ever. So, next up, we got Mac Wrench. I found out a estate sale, three-quarter um standard drive or i'm sorry standard uh wrench that's a part number uh didn't look too bad on the teeth so or on the open end uh so i figured i'd pick it up add it to the collection of the standard um wrenches just trying to make a new set instead of my pittsburgh ones not that anything's wrong with them uh, you know, as someone that likes to collect stuff, uh, especially tools, um, figured it'd be a fun challenge. And then we also were able to pick up at the same house, I believe, um, a half inch snap on one. So pretty cool. Uh, and again, I think both of these were probably a dollar each. So, um, you know, when you find this stuff, I think it's worth grabbing onto it um especially for that cheap but other than that we're gonna open these up probably this week because uh, we got some projects that could be helpful with those um and then yeah just let me know if that's something that is warrantyable um the ground up teeth or if that's something that you know what it's just life that's you know you buy the tool to use it um Oh, well, and then also the channel lock thing. Um, channel locks, you know, wore out. Uh, the nose was bent. Uh, fixed it up a little bit. Um, curious if you guys have ever warranted channel locks at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and what was your experience there? So, cool. I'll uh, see next time I go out to a state sale or get something on offer up. Uh, be sure to make a video on it. Let me know what you guys thought of this tool haul. Um, and then also what you think I purchased everything uh, for. So I got some good deals on a handful of this stuff, actually. Uh, so retail-wise. Although I, I think I told you everything. So if you still want to guess, go for it. Um, if not, cool. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to be doing these more. Um, and yeah, praying for you guys.